Every time I'm on the 89A out by Lee's Ferry, going on the back side of the canyon, I just love it. And this is a really cool little spot. We're gonna pull over here and have lunch real quick. But as I was going, pulling in off of the road, I think I dragged my bumper. So I'm walking slowly because I, I'm delaying. I've been spending far too much time with my headphones on. Hey, 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 hey. I just don't, need some don't, don't bother Jacob for the next one. I'm just fine. Because it's so comfortable when you know how it goes. All right, is there any uh, any inspirational inspirational talk? No. No. <laughs> Warning! And now we'll resort to death. Ooh. I'm putting the narrows in my top five best hikes. I don't know how many hikes I have in there, but I'm cramming this, this one in. Gonna be in there? It's, it's gonna be, I'm gonna make room for it. Just this. Good there. Good there. in the airstream we're getting in prepped up for this particular trip. We've got a couple national park trips that we're gonna take while we're here with the family over the summer. Uh, one is right now Zion, which is just the boys are going. Trish, Trish is not going on this. I think I think she plotted actually this whole thing. And then um, we're gonna go do Mesa Verde. Maybe yes. Caleb will want to go. Maybe not. I I've never been go. there. It's only four hours away or something like that. So we're gonna do Mesa Verde. And then and then Carson goes to school. And then we're gonna drop him off to school in Florida. And then that's when it's gonna kick off the rest of our national park blitz. Trish, you're doing a great job. I really appreciate all your help here. Yeah. Well, you know. Food is important for this trip. important, especially when you have a bunch of boys, you do not want teenage boys to get grumpy. So where are they all sleeping? Like if Jacob, Carson's friend, like is Carson gonna sleep here? Yeah, Carson's gonna sleep there. Jacob's gonna sleep back here. So. And then I'm gonna sleep with Caleb in the bed. This yeah. is, how did you rope me into this? <laughs> We've got some yard birds going on. Man, you're big into the yard birds. I, I think even on the last episode we did yard birds. Oh, these are amazing. Yeah. So, um, so it's better than a rotisserie chicken. It's smoky, oh, yeah. super awesome. Oh yeah. So you can make some um, pulled chicken mm -hmm. barbecue sandwiches. Uh, I just want to make sure that when you come off the mountain, yes, you guys are going to be food. ready to eat all the time. Yes. Three boys. Three boys. They're they're very large. <laughs> yeah. You're going to need to feed them. Yeah. Hi. Good How to see you, you. Long time. Yeah. Fish. Mm -hmm. Where are you? Have you noticed that Charlie with the gate open, he doesn't leave? I know. Isn't that crazy? He likes being here. He loves it. He just, <laughs> gate's open, he's just looking out. It's like, this is my home. Charlie, you're everywhere. Go get him. We've got that. And we've got a little... And what's in there? Sausage, cream sausage. Ooh. Is that for the spaghetti? Mm-hmm. You guys can pick your own topping. And there's salmon on the grill? And there's some salmon. How do I see the spice? What spices do you have in here? You got sweet heat on the left and lemon herb on the right? Yeah. I don't know which I like better. Well, you don't usually like sweet on your salmon, so but I did a few for the kids. Mm. It looks delicious though. Oh, good. And I put it on the smoker, oh. so that the house isn't so hot. Good. That smoker is like a dream. Look what I did for you guys. You know, smoked chicken. Oh, wow. So that's for lunch tomorrow. Yeah. There is no reason why you guys should stop at a cheesy fast food place. Awesome. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Me. All right. You guys ready? You ready? Oh. Caleb, say a prayer for us. Dear Lord, please bless this food. Thank you for this food and all the blessings you've given us. Please help us have a safe trip to where we're going. And thank you for this trip. Amen. 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 Are, you, are you prepared to be on camera for the next three days? I am ready. Yeah. What, what kind of what kind of practice did you do? Uh, I looked in the mirror. Yeah. And I saw myself, and I was like, "You are gonna do wonderful things." <laughs> Hey, you want to you want to introduce your friend Carson to the channel because he's not normally on. Oh, this is my friend Carson. <laughs> he's new here. <laughs> he's, he's new. He's new around here. Trish, thanks for the uh, the carbo loading here. Yeah, carbo loading so that you guys are strong. I guess yes. two days out, you're supposed to carbo load. Yeah. Before you do a huge cardio workout. Really? Yeah. I, that's what I've heard. That's like runners do that. No, yeah. Michael Scott does it right before he runs. <laughs> Fettuccine Alfredo. Time to carbo load. Oh, Fredo sauce. I'm getting a stitch. Ah, oh, God. 7 Eleven. Boys are still sleeping, which is fine. Our goal is to get out of here by 10. 
and we've got a four and a half hour drive and we're gonna lose an hour. And then the goal is to go to the gear shop in the park so that we can get our boots, like a neoprene boots, because we're gonna be going in and out of water and a few other things. We actually did a prep call I did a prep call with Kent just to kind of go over some basics. So. After about six miles, you're in the water the rest of the day. So Rip. you're going to be in water enough that okay. um, that's why I want to probably get those, yeah. those boots and rent and rent them. Even if I bring some other shoes Yeah. for the first, you know, X miles. Hey, hey Trish, how you doing? Doing great. How are you? You realize how happy she is because you had an idea to do a 60 mile hike with and then Trish is like, hey, this is a great boys bonding activity. And so I don't know what you're going to do. What are you going to do for the next three days while we're doing this? I will find something. She's going to relax and uh, enjoy the decision she made not to go on this hike. That's what yeah. she's going to do. <laughs> it's exciting. I love hiking. I, 16 <laughs> miles it just seems like It's only 15.5. Hey, Tell me all yeah. about it when you get back. <laughs> and it's all downhill. It's all downhill yeah. in the water. In a way, he's not getting yeah, I know. Yeah, in the water. What, could, what, could go, what could go wrong? In terms of gear, we're, we basically just have a whole bunch of hydro packs. These are Osprey. This is the one I use for my bike. So I've got that. Jacob has a camel pack. They're all full of water, which is rather heavy. He had a backpack filled with water and then a tube that he could just sip. <laughs> the only thing we got to do now is wake up Caleb and Carson had a pretty good plan for that. Dude, do you want to uh, you want to just go in the airstream and grab like chicken and stuff and bring it in the truck? We'll just keep driving. Yeah. Okay. Keep it going. Keep it going. Yeah. Can you turn on the air conditioning real quick? Yeah, sure. What are we at? 100% battery. That's zone two. All right, we're on the side of the road and we got the air conditioning going. And this is really probably one of the main applications of having a battery bank and an inverter that can run the AC is when you're driving, you're gonna pull over for a little lunch. It's sunny, so you're bringing in solar off of the roof. And we got DC to DC charging coming off of the truck. So whatever we draw right now for a half hour, an hour, we can replenish before we get there, if we were dry camping. But because we're going in Design River Ranch, and we have full hookups, I'm not even concerned about the power. So we're gonna run a little AC because it's hot. Gotta make sure we don't Trish's Hooked us up with the chicken. Where's the chicken? Here it is. Trish. All right, hey, we got two options. You could do the chicken yard birds, or you could, uh, there's turkey meat, and you can make a sandwich. Oh, the yard bird. Yard okay. bird. Okay, all right. We'll get some watermelon, and we'll get back on the road for what I think is like one of, like, it didn't make our top five scenic drives video when we did our top 10 national parks, but I really love 89A back behind these beautiful cliffs. And we did it We did it once in the teardrop in the winter and there was just a little bit of snow in the mountains. It was absolutely gorgeous. So if you're ever out in this part of the country, Grand Canyon, Horseshoe Bay, Page, Lee's Ferry, stunning.
survived to Zion River Ranch, but there's something that I really did not anticipate, and that is that it's 108 degrees outside. Holy cow, that's hot. I really don't remember when making this reservation that I wouldn't have done a 50 amp site, but there's only 30 amp on the pedestal. So I'm getting my 30 to 50, but it's 108 degrees right now. But it'll cool down at night. And you know, we got soft starts on both, so I think I could run both ACs with 30 amp without any problem. Um, we're not running anything else, no Instant Pot, hair dryer, any of that stuff, because uh, Trish isn't here. So it's just you know eating out and peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. So I think we'll be all right with 30 amp and I don't want to move, but uh, still a bit of a surprise. Let me go get, get it set up. Before I disconnect the truck, I'm gonna make sure that that 30 amp is sufficient and the panel's not popped or anything because I don't want to disconnect and then find out I got an issue with 30 amp and then have to go reconnect and go find a new site. So I'll just make sure that's good and if it is, then I'll disconnect, we'll put the truck sideways, call Kent and then head into the gear store to get our boots and then we're gonna go dinner and then I imagine meet the rest of the gang. And uh, speaking of meeting people, Nancy and Hannah just came by. They're followers of the channel. That was pretty fun. And then we'll go meet everybody else and get started. How you doing? Good, good, to, see good to see you again. Yeah. Do you remember Carson? Have you met Carson? I haven't. I'm okay, you met Caleb. Caleb. I'm Jacob. This is Jacob. Jacob. Yeah. Oh, that's good too. Yeah. So you guys ready? We are. We are so ready. Now, possible. 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 <laughs> Not <laughs> likely. Highly unlikely. <laughs> awesome. So with these socks, make sure you just wear these socks. Don't wear any of your socks with them. Okay. Right. Try these on. Make sure they fit. Okay. We'll go from there. Yeah, I'm Jacob. <laughs> <Just kidding. laughs> So one, two, three, four, five. So this is a group. I just went into Design Outfitters, and what we elected to do is to get dry bags to put lunch, phones, things that can't get wet, and then put that stuff inside the Osprey rather than having to wear a dry pack. She says there's a couple sections where it would be in over our head, but they're not very long. Okay, you got boots, pole. Yeah, boots, pole. Boots and pole. And, and a bag, and a bag, and a bag, boots and pole. Okay. Word. We're good. All right, what are you doing over there? Even when, even when you're not here, you have the camera. Trisha. <laughs> <laughs> Trisha. 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 We, oh. we got all of our gear here, I'll show you. The weather's a bit concerning, actually. Uh, if you know anything about hiking in canyons, if there's any, if there's any rain with even a hundred miles of where we're gonna be and it funnels into this canyon, it can create a flash flood, which is like a wall of debris and boulders and mud and is dangerous. So the weather is looking a little sketchy, but we'll assess it again tomorrow and we'll assess it before we go. And then Kent says there's a point of the hike where you can kind of really say, hey, like this is your last opportunity to look at the weather and. You know, don't continue unless you you feel comfortable. So, I guess that's what we're going to do. Good morning. Good morning. You are not kidding about the <laughs> the eight passenger van. I was kind of picturing like a transit van or something. Uh, we're going to, uh, it's going to be an uncomfortable <laughs> three hours for someone, not for me, <laughs> but for someone. All right, we're all ready. Come on in. We've got uh, room in the back. Yeah. Oh, fun part. Uh-huh. You're going to have to get four in a seat of three. Oh, yeah. This is easy. This is easy. Oh. Oh my gosh, there is, what is that? <laughs> oh no, oh. this is gonna Someone be so bad. <laughs> Someone discovered the hump. <laughs> That's 
That's it. That's it. Painful. <laughs> I'm ready. I'm ready to go. I'm just gonna have to climb. Long awaited. You ready? That was a ride. <laughs> <laughs> Saw Carson in the rearview mirror the whole time like this. <laughs> yeah, he was the guy that had to lean. Someone's got to lean forward Somebody's when you're sitting. When it. you're sitting four people. Last minute, drink some water. Got a little electrolytes in there. Banana. Everyone's putting sunscreen on, and then we're gonna get out of here. All right, so we got Kent, Caleb, Carson, Jacob, Ian, Jagger, Connor, Jagger. Okay. And Mark. All right. All right. All right. This is it. Everybody's got we all we all we all got the memo on the shoes. <laughs> right, let's all synchronize our watches. Hack. <laughs> it's seven twelve and uh, what was it? We're really looking. We're really trying for ten hours here. Okay. We think ten. Okay. So. All right. The thing is, I really don't know where we go from here. This is the limit of my knowledge. It must be down here somewhere. All right. Well, yeah, yeah. we go downhill and follow the water. <laughs> <laughs> they said not to get this wet. <laughs> Is this the one? Yeah. There's this one sign on. Oh, yeah. It's off right now. Like, now's the time where we need to be sharing how people find the hike how to get the permits, all that stuff, because once we get going in here, I'm just gonna be recording doing it. Yes. So, you got the permits. Got the permits. And June 5th, because that's the day Carson graduated. Yeah, they, uh, there's a time frame, and I think what it is, the fifth of the month before, or the, maybe it was the first weekend, whatever it was, there's a time frame. That opens the door okay. to order the permits mm -hmm. for the next month. Okay. 10 a.m. in the morning, you better be in front of What's the What's the website? You just like recreation.gov? Uh, um, I went to, no, you go to the Zion National Park. Okay. Zion website. Gotcha. There's a link from there that takes all you All right, to I'll it. tell you what, we're going to link it down below if you're interested in doing this. And then we got all the gear at Zion Outfitters, which is yep. just outside of the park. Just right outside of the park. And, and then, yeah. otherwise, the, where's that trailhead? What's that called? Chamberlain's? Chamberlain Ranch. Chamberlain trailhead. Ranch trailhead. Yeah. And so it's about, it's a couple hours from the park. We had a little longer drive because of a road closure today. Yeah, yeah. Uh, which really wasn't too much longer. I thought no, it was going to be 45, longer. Yeah, it was yeah. great. All right, so that's kind of the information that if you're interested in doing this and uh, you can assess based upon footage here in a moment um, if it's something you want to do. I heard I had to hike in in uh, neoprene socks and rented boots for 16 miles. I thought there's no way, but I'm telling you what, the boots are incredibly comfortable. Yeah. They're light, and the neoprene socks. I can't believe how comfortable those are too. I'm shocked. <laughs> I'm and then so you, shocked. we walk through the water, and you don't feel uh, any moisture coming through whatsoever. And you're not ruining your own shoes yeah That's which the most important which thing. you heard right that you if you do it in your own shoes You're, they're, they're gone yeah, they're, they're gone out. yeah for three miles yeah three you? miles this is the uh, official scenic Air really? Out. Yeah. But there's ice cream there too, right? Soft serve. Soft serve. <laughs> what do you think, Jacob? First impressions? Beautiful. No. Yeah? <laughs> Me neither, but it's so cool. It's crazy. It's <laughs> something you've never seen like before. <laughs> something I've never seen before. Yeah. <laughs> First time. And I've lived in Arizona my whole life. It's crazy.
Hey, 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 we're only at 5.59 miles. Who approved a break? Is it Carson? Are you behind this? I'm not behind this. They huh. want to dump out water, and I'm like, I want to be You're drinking. dumping water out? I want to be we, have, we have eight liters. I've drinking one. Hey, <laughs> it's not about the drinking of the water. It's about the exercise. <laughs> Here's the map. So what it talked about, they said, hey, you're... And I don't know, this is where we're at. Let's see, first narrow. Yeah, right there. They have a mile chart here somewhere. First narrows, uh, three and a half hours. Well, they're doing it by hours. Okay. Um, we went by Bullock's Cabin, I know that. First narrows, waterfall. We haven't hit the waterfall yet. Okay. And we're how far into it? Five. 5.83 miles. Two and a half hours? Okay. Okay, so we got a ways before that. But we're probably coming up on the first narrows, but it's gonna be something like this to where there's little to no high ground. Okay. Isn't that awesome? <laughs> the hike has been stunning, no doubt. Absolutely no question. But now it's starting to get fun. The walls are getting a little more narrow. Water's getting a little deeper, a little bluer, more obstacles to navigate. We're at about, uh, resume, we're about, just about nine miles in. Campsite one. Oh, campsite one. That's where we're at. We're at Deep Creek. Campsite okay, one. campsite one. So if someone were to do this in two nights, they could camp right here. Yeah, so now all the camping places start here. Okay, one, two, three, four, and there's 12 sites. Yeah, all the way down to Big Springs. How many miles? So we're at campsite one. How many, how long does it say it should have taken uh, us to get there? We're at Deep Creek and it says five hours. And uh, how, how many hours? Hey, Jacob, how many hours we've we been doing this? Four hours and 40 minutes? 20 minutes ahead of schedule. <laughs> With lunch. With lunch. And a swim, and losing the glasses and finding the glasses. Wait, we got this in the bag. Yeah. So how many hours do we have left? Um, it says five hours of Deep Creek, that's where we're at. Oh we're my four, gosh, yeah. and this is gonna take 12? I know. I'm kinda tired. Remember? <laughs> <laughs> hey, in the car around that corner? Earlier, weren't we saying something like six to eight? We might have seven hours of this left. Holy crap. I mean, I'm enjoying it all, but, but my gosh, I thought we were a little further along. No, no. <laughs> Just killing it on the trail. I know. I, I thought the boots were comfortable. I was happy with the weather. <laughs> I had enough water. <laughs> my feet are hurting. <laughs> you can't walk yeah, as fast as the boys. Oh my gosh, we're only 20 minutes ahead of schedule. <laughs> it's kind of demoralizing. I know. <laughs> We've taken a break from walking in the river. There's a trail that kind of goes up and down and the uphill feels really nice. It's definitely gotten hot. The sun's pretty intense. I'd say it's, would you say it's like upper 80s, low 90s in the shade and called pushing 100 in the sun? Oh yeah, easy in the sun. Yeah, so it's gotten substantially more warm. And, but the trail feels really good because you spend so much time just navigating over boulders and not losing your step. How are you holding up? Uh, I wish I knew where we were, you know? 
I mean, you wish you knew how many miles you really had left. But I wish I had a map and I really saw. Oh, well, Kent, Kent does. Like a true you are here. <laughs> true you are here. Well, you are here. You are right where you are, Caleb. Wow, let me see that. Yeah. Is this an approved stop? Okay, all right. Oh. Okay. 12.70. Five hours and 48 minutes. Boys are now, except for Caleb, the boys are now nowhere in sight. Nowhere, yeah. We won't see them again until, I don't know, well, Thursday. Yeah, yeah, Thursday. <laughs> We are just close to 14 miles on the Garmin. And we just passed some people that came up from the bottom and they say we're about five miles away. The only drawback is it's getting fairly technical in terms of maneuvering around and the speed. So, and it's a lot hotter. Woo! All right, taking the escalator. Feels good, doesn't it? Yeah. The cold water in the knees. I know, my you toes, just... feet, knees. Yeah. If I have any toenails left, I'll be surprised. No, no, those are gone. Yeah. I think maybe yeah. it's not rocks in my shoes. Maybe it's the toenails maybe that have come Maybe it's the toenails. <laughs> That's gross. Oh man. It is stunning down here though, isn't it? These ferns that are coming out of the walls like this. It's you just the magnificent. Water coming out? It did. Yeah. Yeah. This is the way. This is the way. Oh. That's kind of chilly. Whoa, 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 whoa. There we go. Got it. I thought all the cool sections we had gone by, but this is pretty neat too. If you come from the bottom, yeah, you only have to go a few miles up. But the uh, the thunder, the thunder's not encouraging. Yeah, that's the sound of big thunder, and it it strikes and just kind of ricochets up through the canyon. It's not the noise. These are not the sound effects that you want to hear when you're doing it. I think we're pretty close to getting out. Likeliness of a flash flood, possible, but low. But it's just still one of those things that you'd rather just be out, safe. And you can see there's nowhere to go. The wall of water comes behind us, man, that's it. It's over. At this point, I'm just looking for things I recognize. And I recognize this. So I'm gonna come up here, turn left, get on the little sidewalk, one more mile out, get on the shuttle. I'm gonna find me some Motrin. 19.63. On the pavement, one mile to go. At 20 miles, 20 and a half miles. What the heck is happening? How long have you guys been here? Uh, 20, 22 minutes. minutes 22 minutes? Yeah. That's not bad. Yeah. Trish? Hi. Hey, how are you? Good, how'd it go? Well, 20 miles, 20 and a half miles. What? Yeah, it took us nine hours. We just got done. We're waiting for the rest of the group to get here. Oh my gosh. How come it was so much more? I don't know. Maybe it wasn't. Maybe it's just my Garmin. But all the reviews said it was 21 miles. So maybe not. The last, five, five the last five miles. Yeah, that was hard. How about the one? How about the sidewalk? 
the sidewalk, sidewalk is painful. You're, like, you're like 10 more minutes. I know. You're like there for like another no, mile. I know. Here are my sandals in here. We're back. <laughs> We're back. <laughs> that was a lot. That was that was that was a lot. But it was so worth it. So if you have the opportunity, check it out. If uh, if all you can do is, you know, get some of the the boots, the neoprene boots, and, and a walking stick, and go up, it's stunning. It's stunning. A lot of people that we were passing on the way down were asking, where is the waterfall? There's a. Uh, I'll show you a picture right here. But there are like two little streams and some ferns. That was pretty. That's still a ways. It's still a ways. I'm, I'm guessing three hours up to go there, just based upon what people have been, were telling me. Um, but anyhow, it's just great. The Narrows is great. Angel's Landing is great. Zion's great. Only good things. Thanks for joining us on this uh, uh, epic Zion Narrows trip. Um, tune in next week and uh, for more Trish and Charlie. I, I know who the favorites are. Talk to you later. Hey, good morning. Good morning. How are you? Very good. Just got done exercising. I saw I missed your fall. I'm headed back. We're gonna uh, gain an hour, so we'll probably be there by one. And the only stop we're gonna make is through Jacob Lake. We're gonna stop and get the um, Jacob Lake cookies. Oh, good. Yep. Bring me home one. Okay. You guys look like the Walking Dead. Straight here. <laughs> All right here. My hamstrings. Yeah. How you feeling? Right now. <laughs> I'm ready for some breakfast though. Bro, I want I want eggs. It's hash browns. You think they have that here at the oh, Jacob Lake Inn? I, greasy I know they got world right famous now. chocolate chip cookies, but I don't know about breakfast. We're gonna find out. Nice. Yeah. This will work, huh? You just wanna order breakfast at Yeah. And get cookies again? Yeah. Uh, you guys recommend uh, Jacob Lake Inn for breakfast? And, yeah? Yeah. Have a, bring everybody you know with a good attitude, okay? <laughs> they do need a good attitude. Why is that? Because everybody's so nice. You can't corrupt that. that oh, everyone's so nice there? Don't don't, yeah. don't be grumpy. If talks to you, you have to talk to them back. Don't be grumpy at Jacob yeah. Lake. Just come, have breakfast, be jolly. Yeah, you have to be jolly.